Hey what's up everyone, it's so boy Alter Tech back again with a new video. In today's video we have the Nexus 6P and this phone actually brought back all that love I have for Android. How exactly is because I installed the custom lineage ROM on this device, 15.1 to be exact, and the experience has been so wonderful that it got me hooked back into you know rooting Android devices once again and you know all the geeky stuff. So shout out to the Nexus 6P. So this phone, I was obsessed with it when it first came out, and how could you not be obsessed with it? It's the Nexus line. Um, it was in partnership with Huawei, and you had dual front firing speakers. You have this gorgeous flat display. I love flat displays. It just feels so much nicer in the hands. It's big, but it's also very thin. It doesn't feel too heavy at all. Uh, the fingerprint sensor is on the back. You have a nice camera set up, uh, dual flash, and it doesn't really do anything. I don't really use a flash, but uh, with the G cam, you could get some really nice shots, amazing shots actually in daytime. It's just that in nighttime, it might suffer a little bit. Believe it or not, this was released in 2015, and you have a, a USB-C port. There are some budget phones being released with micro USB ports in 2022. Uh, it is what it is, but um, this phone... The design is just straight up beautiful, uh, front firing speakers. I'm not exactly sure why the, the tech community, what they have against big bezels on phones, but guys, it could have been just a marketing thing. Listen, it just gives you something to grip on when playing games or whatnot. Now, playing games on this is a different story. Um, maybe watching videos is just nice, and you do have that front firing to just hit you in the face. So... Guys, um, let's go ahead and break it down real quick. This is running Lineage OS. I've made videos in the past, you know, what's it like using a Nexus 6P, I'd say like in 2020, 2018, 2017, but I was using the stock Android version. And I gave up on this phone because number one, I didn't want to install a custom ROM, but I decided to do so with Lineage. And holy crap, um, you know, I, I'm super, glad i did not to sound like a little kid but super i am super glad i did um so here's one thing i did notice so let's say you uh you switch to the google home feed and usually there would be some stuttering i'm not exactly sure why but with the stock android version with lineage now it's just it's been pretty impressive and um i'm not saying it's super fast i'm just saying it's much much better performing than what we had on the uh, the official Android version, and you could probably you know add to that to you know lineage being you know for what it is, and I also mu must say that I do believe that not having to install all that Google bloatware with G apps that has been pretty beneficial as well. So I installed pretty much all the essential G uh, Google apps that I would need. So we have less apps running in the background, which I think is a huge benefit, um, especially for a phone like this with the Snapdragon, I think it's 810 or 808. <clears throat> uh, whichever one it is, it has that issue where it overheats. So um, if you have this phone, you're not going to want to have to, you know, install games on this to like, you know, really burn up the CPU. Um, if it's, it's a great budget phone, you know, great display, beautiful AMOLED display. And some cool things that I've been impressed with is the, the ability to customize this phone. For example, um, you can move the time from the right side to the left side. Uh, you could show AM or PM. You could slide your hands over here on the status bar to change the brightness, which I think is pretty cool. And um, a few other things as well. Let's say your phone is off and you need a flashlight. Hold the power button. Bam. There you go. So there's a... Um, there's quite a few customizations you can do that's not found on stock Android. You even have uh, dark mode. And let me just go into the settings real quick. You can change the accent colors as well. Um, I find this to be a little um, reminiscent of uh, Resurrection Remix with that cherry color on the accents. You guys can change it to whatever you want, you know, blue, green, whatever. Um, this is just my take. As for the system, like I said, you are running, let's see. Lineage 15.1, Android 8.10, the latest security patch, I believe it was January of 2020. Now, here is the, um, you guys do have Lineage 17.1 released out there, but it's unofficial. I, I did install it. The performance was pretty good. It was fine. 
the reason why I went back to this was because this was the official and I was getting this um, mer uh, error message. You know, the phone is corrupt, something like that. Maybe I had to reflash it or something like that. Maybe something like that. But anyways, guys, the performance on this, pretty impressed. It's a great budget phone for me. I have a Mint SIM installed on this. So signal has been great. Call quality has been great. And I even have um, the option of going ahead to show you guys the the internet speeds it should come up right up on top so anytime this phone is using data it's going to show up up on top the uploads and the download speeds so um there you go nexus 6p in 2022 with lineage 15.1 an amazing experience um this has brought back my love for android and i do i want i'm interested in the ubuntu touch os um, but I do need my Google apps as well. So maybe if I have another phone lying around, which I'm not using, I'll go ahead and, um, experiment with Ubuntu touch. But for right now, guys, for the performance, I am sold on lineage OS. I have no idea that lineage was this damn good. Um, I didn't know you could actually go ahead and install these, uh, these custom G cam apps. So with, with G apps. So, you know, comparing this to a, a, a you know, $1,000, uh, 2020 Android device, the OnePlus 9 Pro. Now, I'll say this. Now, for the cameras, camera technology, is it's pretty expensive. And, you know, you do get what you pay for with the 2020 OnePlus 9 Pro. But like I've said, you know, for the value of this phone, in which, you know, you're still, it's number one, it's clean. You're using a an old device. You're bringing life to an old device. So, guys, there's there's a lot of uh, positives on this. So, maybe in the future, I'll go ahead and install some more Lineage ROMs on some older devices. You know, bring them back to life. So, anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think about the Nexus 6P. Or do you plan on getting one? My only um, issue is, is that the battery, there's lots of battery issues and the overheating issues. But this was a brand new phone I purchased. I just didn't use it that often. The battery life, it's been great. I could definitely get over five hours of screen on time. Um, but overall, guys, let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. Take care. Peace.